Hey guys, this is Norman Over with Soundtracks here, and today, in this ep episode of Operations 101, we're going to be talking about back EMF motor control on the Tsunami 2, Blue Nami, and Eco Nami decoders. So let's get started. Now, as I am sure you all are aware, in previous episodes of Operations 101, George has gone over how to operationally get more uh, mileage out of your Tsunami 2 and Blue Nami decoders. However, in order to do that, your, your motor needs to respond well to your decoder. In fact, in the majority of cases, in fact, I would estimate at least over 95%, the default settings for the Tsunami 2 and the Blue Nami to control the motor of your model are fine. But what about that 5%? Well, we do have the ability to adjust the way the decoder responds to the back EMF from the motor. And we're going to go over a few of the techniques to do that today. Now, the first one I want to go over is CV215. And this is what's known as the back EMF reference voltage. Our decoders use something called PWM to control the motor. And we cover that in this video on stall current linked down in the description. What this means, though, is that the since the decoder is not doing any voltage regulation, it's just feeding track voltage, rectified, of course, to the motor. And CV215 allows us to tell the decoder what this voltage is, and this allows it to get a more accurate reading on the back EMF coming from the motor to the decoder. So. In this case, I'm using an NCE power cab. Now, I know because I've already measured it that this outputs at 13.5 volts on the track. Your DCC system will vary. So, in this case, I would actually go in and I would set CV215 to 135, representing 13.5 volts. If your DCC system was outputting at, let's say, 15 volts, you would put in a value of 150 for 15.0. Now, in the majority of cases, th this will solve any issues you're having with the motor control on our decoders. However, if it doesn't, we still have some another layer of more advanced options to go through. Our decoders use what's known as a control loop in order to control the motor. And this is controlled in CVs 209, 210, and 211. These three CVs are our control loop CVs. 209 controls what's known as KP, or gain. 210 is KI, and 211 is actually a special CV which is very similar to KP, but it only affects the very lowest speed steps in our decoder. So in effect, 209 is full speed KP, so it affects the entire speed range, whereas 211 only controls the very bottom end of the speed range. But the two CVs, in terms of what they actually do, function very similarly. KP is, in effect, almost a way to control the aggressiveness of the decoder's response to the motor. So let's say you have a motor that's sluggish. So if I were to notch up this model to speed step one, and I place my finger in front of it, what we would do is if the wheels were unable to spin for whatever reason, we would want to start to slowly increase either our low speed gain or our high speed gain depending on what speed step we're performing this test at. So right now I'm performing this test at speed step one. And the locomotive is, as you can see, perfectly capable of spinning its wheels against my finger, which means we don't need to raise our 211 value. Now, if I notch this up to, let's say, speed step 20, as you can see, it's still able to spin its wheels just fine, which means our 209 KP value is also fine. Now, if I run this at low speed, you can see we actually already have a pretty good solution out of the box. But what if after performing those tests, you're still getting some jerkiness? Well, this is where we want to start looking at 210 Ki. And this CV, I, it's not quite accurate, but I almost use it to describe how long the decoder remembers what the motor has been doing. So if you have a very 
let's say, light mechanism with no flywheels and very little internal resistance, you would need a different value than if you had big, chunky flywheels and a lot of resistance in the mechanism. If you're still having issues at this point, I would say just try out some different values in 210, experiment around uh, if worse comes to worse and you get a undesirable result, you can always just set it back to the default value of 16. All right, that's gonna be all for this video. Be sure to comment, subscribe, hit the like button, ring the bell, all that good stuff. If you And if you have any further questions, be sure to give us a call at 970-259-0690 or contact us by email at support at soundtracks.com. That's gonna be all for this video. Thanks for watching.